Oh, hi. It's time for a vacuum review. I have a vacuum cleaner here, guys. At this point, it's one of my favorite pastimes, sitting down and reviewing vacuums, kind of a hobby. So let me just open it and we can set it up together. I haven't um, done the kitchen this morning, so the floor is covered in bits so we can do that and put it for its paces just for a fair like testing and this is it it is a cordless vacuum cleaner i will link it in the description box as always so let's open it okay so this is by honiture honiture i'm gonna call it and it comes with a digital display touchscreen, dual purpose roller brush, powerful suction, and long running time. So my plan here with this one is, here it is, the S13 cordless vacuum cleaner quick start guide. Installing desired cleaning accessory, start and adjustment, emptying and cleaning the dust cap, charge, and store we love to see it cleaning the rolling brush okay so everything is quite nicely packaged you get a three year extended warranty so well done for that honiture well done and here is all the pieces that we get to put this together so let's take that out do you know, my one wish, here is the stand. My one wish with, um, when it comes to vacuum cleaners is, I wish we would just do neutral colors. I don't know why it always has to be like reds. These are so, so good. However, these are what you can pull the hair out with on the roller. It's got like a little blade inside this section here. Can you guys see that? See the blade? And um, they are very good. However, if you have really thick hair like mine, I just find using kitchen scissors are a go-to thing. So bear that in mind. Here is our main. Freeze, nobody move. Here is our main um, canister here. Here is the battery and here is the charger. So now we've got everything out, let's assemble her, shall we? And give her a little whirl in the kitchen and see how she does. Here is our filter. So you get everything that obviously you would need for the vacuum and all you need to do is clip this section in there, like so. Then you've got your base that goes like that. I mean, this feels quite small. Am I missing a piece? Does it? Oh no, I think it goes up. That's nifty, look. So you can make it like really miniature. And then you can, this is, do you know what? This is absolutely freaking genius that they have this. So look, if you click the, bo the, the button on the back, it goes up and down. So depending on your height and FYI, I've done a video on this before. It's really important when vacuuming that you're not at an awkward angle. So this is ideal for that look you can just like click it make it longer or you can go ahead and make it shorter you know so if you wanted to get the kids involved even in the cleaning routine look at that genius okay let's put the rest in and then we can go and vacuum the kitchen okay so i've taken it apart to go and put our filters in it actually already comes assembled so these are obviously just spares so you can just put those to one side they've already thought of it so look you've got 
one at the base, at the top, sorry, here, another one here, and you then just clip this back on. So these can just go to one side until you need to change them. the Honiture cordless vacuum cleaner through its paces let's do a little debrief on what I like about it and what I don't like about it so what I would say about this particular vacuum cleaner is it's not going to win any awards anytime soon I don't think it is the best cordless vacuum cleaner out there but that's not to say it's the worst it certainly isn't it did go ahead and pick up anything that was on my kitchen floor with ease. So I really liked that. I didn't have to keep going over and over and over the same area. That is really frustrating when it comes to vacuuming. Remember, we want to clean smarter, not harder. So in that sense, it is very good. I love, love, love the fact that you can adjust the height of this vacuum cleaner. I haven't yet seen a cordless vacuum cleaner where you can do that. And it is really important that when you are vacuuming, sorry, all my appliances are on at the moment. So, you know, Sally Sink is just gurgling away there. Okay, she stopped. Um, I do like the fact that you can adjust the height. I think it's really, really important when it comes to vacuuming that you are comfortable. And the fact that you can adjust the height, I think is really, really good. And I think that is a real key selling point, in my opinion anyway, for the vacuum. I think that it's really helpful and it's it becomes quite inclusive when it comes to vacuuming. And... Um, the fact that you can adjust the height of the vacuum. So that is really good. I also like the fact that it does have the light on it. This obviously isn't unique to this particular vacuum cleaner. Tons of vacuums now have the light, but this just makes it even easier to spot any pet fur or any dust that might be lurking on your floors. So that is really good. And also, if you like to partake in some nighttime cleaning, it's the wonderful thing. So that's very good too. Again, though, not unique to this particular model. Lots of other vacuums do have that quality too. I don't like the fact that the battery went down quite quickly. However, I haven't fully charged it yet. So I'm hoping once it's fully charged, that won't be a problem. And also I would say that when it comes to using these type of vacuums, the cordless ones, I think that it's more of a job where you take it out if you want to do a quick blitz as opposed to a real thorough deep clean. And I have put it on charge now and just checked the battery. And in all fairness, which again, I think is really good, it does charge quite quickly. So if you were to run out of a battery, 
you can go ahead put it on charge and i think you will have juice in it once again very very quickly which is really really good for this vacuum i like the fact that it comes with lots of the standard attachments again you will get these on most vacuums but it just makes life so much easier so you've got the dust attachment you've got like a crevice no nozzle as well to get into like hard to reach places i think that is very very good and i also like the fact that you can get rid of the dust in the canister really simply it's very very easy to use and the setup of this vacuum was a dream it did not take me long at all to set up the actual vacuum which is always helpful because i just think you don't want a million and one different parts that you are trying to put together so for me personally i would give this vacuum a three and a half out of five i'm not going to give it a five only because i just feel like it would be nice if it was a bit stronger. You can adjust the settings on it so you can have it at a lower level, then there's a next level up and then there's a higher setting. And even on the highest setting, I did feel like it wasn't uber powerful, but it certainly was powerful enough in order to pick up things off your floor. So it's, it's there, but it's not quite, which is why I'm giving it a three and a half out of five. I will add the link in the description box for those of you that want to check it out and take a look at it. I definitely think that it is a good contender in the cordless vacuum category. And I think the price point as well is fairly reasonable. So I think for what you're getting, it is fair how it has been priced. I hope you have found this vlog helpful. If you have, don't forget to click the like button. And if you would like to hear more reviews on your favourite or your not so favourite cleaning appliances, then go ahead and click subscribe. I will be back again next time, team. And as always, until then, I love you lots and keep it clean. Bye, guys.